Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back with another video. This one's going to be a little different. It's on the event Fracture Plane. I won't see a lot of people covering this. Um, but I'm going to go over some little basics that will help you beat it and get everything on the first run. At least what I run and how I do it. Uh, when I first start, I look at the affixes where it says continual damage is increased by 50%. This is for the Blood Knight. Um, it will have a different ones for each class. Just make sure you look at the continual damage increase by 50%. So that means before I even go in, I'm going to want to uh, prioritize uh, continual damage over anything. So, of course, as you can see, I got Skew, so I got Ravage. So I'm going to look for the Bleed. Um, Essence on the main hand for that. I got Siphon Blood. I'm going to look for the, uh, um, probably the key, the one that channels, not channels, but follows you. So on my bats, I'm going to look for the poison bats on the legs. Sanguinate, this is, this is a tough one. It doesn't have continual damage on this one. And Umbral Lance has one that now, um, makes them bleed as well. So we're going to have bleed. Pretty much on what three pieces four pieces so it should be fun so first things first um you want to fill your slots up with any piece you get because this is going to um increase your damage your life on the pieces well, it's been a while since i used that All right, so we got final stack, energy. I'll go with the shield. Pain is purpose. We run over here. Use a sanguinate to move while we're here. Do, do, do. From a bat, Strauss, you know, fall, absorbs power. This is my favorite helmet. I don't care if I have two pieces. Also, when you equip a piece, you never really lose your um your chaos coins because it'll just refund them to you. So don't be afraid to switch to a better essence. This one's amazing because now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna wait for them to get close. I'm gonna drain them, then I'm gonna throw my damage. Number Lance, Giant Void. Uh, let's go Swarm of Bats damage. Okay, so I'm going to take the hit and go to the next level. Not waste time on that. Like I said, this is a timed event. Also, when you come back, you want to use everything you can on your coins. Don't buy the items because you can get them to drop in this, you know, throughout the thing. Or you can get lucky and get this, you know. Come over here, do this. Staying one eight where they can't hit you. Ravage. Drain them again, making them weaker, making you stronger. There we go. 112. Will they give me blessed? Let's see here. I'll come up in here. Always look for your range to kill first. If there's any range you want to take them out. Like get them all in a group. Throw bats. Get this. Okay, here's my poison bats. I'll take that. So now we have continual damage. So now the poison from the bats will hurt them. Come get me. Drain them. Throw the bats. As you can see, just fall over now. Uh, I'll go with this. We're already on the first boss. 
upgrade that to level four. Now you have one death. You could die one time. Drain them on the lands. Now this guy attacks from the front. I'm going to stay away from the front of him. Train him again. Just hit and move, baby. Hit and move. Train him again. Keep him close to his totem so we get him and his totem at the same time. That should help. Damage. I always like damage. Um, decreased. Could never go wrong with it. They can't hurt me. They can't kill me. But this is a really, really good event for getting Legos. Uh, set items. Um, as you know, the new class is coming out. So also help you get essences and things like that. Come on. Let's kill the blue guys first. Right. Wipe them out. Ooh, three star, baby. I like that. So now we just need a main hand and an off hand to finish it off. This is take it's a good little break from you know the BGs and regular game events like this are really fun. Umbraland stills up to seven the further they are from you. Like I said, I'm gonna take it just because I don't have it in that slot. Just for the damage increase. Ah, I'm going on that surfboard. Let's go. Take this from him. Go. Um, that's not gonna work with the, um, with the um helmet. Let's see. Oh, got another chest, and they're all right here. Hell yeah! Come on, come and get it. We got Starfire. That was a good one there. That was a good last room. Just go ahead. Upgrade, upgrade. Level 5 already. We're on 5. So we got one more. This level and then the boss. Come on. So I'm going to take out the reins first. This. That's a good one. I'll take that hit. Whenever Siphon Blood damages someone three times, it makes them hemorrhage. And when you do the Siphon, it's an automatic hemorrhage. There's something up with that essence where it's like an automatic hemorrhage. It's really nice. In here, at least. Not in regular gameplay. <laughs> Okay, so we got a four star helmet I like. I'll take that. Big upgrade. Going over here. Make the reins come to me. Drain them. And they're dead. Nope, nothing I like. See, now once you get pieces, you can kind of be like, okay, I want to get this set piece. I want to get this piece, this piece. You can kind of just haul booty. Let's drain them. Throw some baths on them. 
Umber Lance. Also, when you kill the big guys, it might take you a little bit longer, but kill those guys before they kill you. Okay, this is a good one. That is a good offhand. So now my Umber Lance is going to have spears fall from the sky randomly. When they give me. Whenever you get this, it's not always good to take the green. But if it's a good set like Montbank or uh, Banquet or Bank will be really good for this mode because the continual damage increase. Okay. <clears throat> Let's roll down here to him. Let's throw that. Pop, pop the ultimate. Oh, it blocked my ultimate. Oh, no, wait, I got it off. Drain him or her. Sorry, I don't mean to gender assume, Miss Akaja. Throw that down in case she has. Isitars is good right now because you get the movement speed when you kill enemies. So you'll be fast as soon as you kill someone in there. Movement speed is really good for a good time here. Alright, I'm going to roll this way. Come on. Come on. Uh, also, if you don't know what you have, you just always click that. And I'll pull up the item you have. Ooh, look at this. Now we're going to drain all their power. Take these guys out. Give me some more power. Watch how we're getting away. Ah, uh, homie. A few more over here. There we go. Room's cleared. This is probably the most annoying room, but the best room. So now I'm set on coins. Now we can upgrade the whole thing. The, uh, the little stone, I guess you can call it, all the way up. Let's roll it here. Hit them all with the poison. <sighs> Nothing good. We go to the next level with a thousand coins. Oof. So we're going to heal up. So we have so many. Upgrade, upgrade. Level nine. So we'll be ranked 10 by next level. And I'll ask through here. Come on, I'm pushing the button. Thank you. Come on. They're all dead. Ooh, look at that. This is nice to see these chaotic altars. Seeds of stone, shepherds. Uh this was not that great. Six piece ones would be that good. Uh, after you start channeling your skill. Can't answer that right now, David. Jesus Christ. Work never stops.
that. Right now we're sitting at 12 and a half minutes. Not a bad time, but not the best. Where's the portal down here? So I think it's 15 minutes is the longest for the max rewards. Level 10, we're all maxed out. Come on over here, I get some more help. Get more power. So the helmet does the more enemies are near you. Like the more you drain, the more power you get. So it's good to keep one guy up with them, the range guy, because they don't do a lot of damage to you, and you can dodge their attacks pretty easy. Pop this ultimate. Should kill him before he gets this thing off now. Oh, I died. Oops. Don't face tank him. Like I said, you got one death to give. Come on, man. Okay, this is a good one. Shaw boss is a good one in here. Uh, let's see this. We got coil curse. I don't have enough. Let's keep it moving. Watch that time. I'm at thirteen fifty-five. The shot boss is really going to help. Don't want that. Come on. Take this instead. There's a five star. Come on. And this is really going to slow me down. Oops. Come on. Okay, so now we're set. I don't even care about the rest of them. Get them all in a pack here. Looks like they want us me to stop right there. Take those, we we'll heal up. Start heal. Let's see what call occurs. Hmm. Hmm. I like those, but they're not the best. Working coys, Castella. Buy this. 
Mm. Alright, that's five star. I need shoulders, pants, and chest. I do it fast though. Shoulders, chest, and pants. Shoulders, just pants. Okay, you don't have enough for another five star. Let's keep it going. Ooh, 16. Ooh, it's not a good run for me. That you'll have good runs, you'll have bad runs sometimes. Um, more focused on kind of telling you what essence is to get here. I've got a, uh, I got all the rewards for the event already. On my first run, it was a really, really, really good run where I got everything right away. Come on, come get me. Not a five star. Really, it's just about knowing what pieces you want. That way you can just see the upgrade, boom, buy, and you're done. You're not sitting there looking through the essences. Like I said, I did it on the month the first time, and it was, you know, I know those back of my hand. I have a five star ready. Going to that. I don't care. I don't care. Let's see what they have. Five star wise. I think I need it. I don't know offhand. So now we're just looking for the stars. Five star chests. Also, you got to look at the items. As you can see, this is only 1664. This one's 2154. Don't make that mistake. I've done it a few times. Uh, we need shoulders. Just to be sure we are good. 675 left. So I don't have my contacts in, so I'm half blind. Solomon's, I'll take these. It's not a bad one. These are really good. So it puts you, of course, in a state where you can't be hurt. And it damages them. Get out of there because there's so much poison. Dead. Okay. So that's the fracture plane run. Not the best. 18 and a half in. This is not good at all. Um, these are some really good ones. Um, offhand could be the Ravage Bleed, but I don't know if they have that one in here yet. Main hand could be the Ravage Bleed, but as you can see, we didn't get it. Um, the other ones are good. These are good. The primary attack one's really good. I would rather have that, the bats ones. Uh, the ones I was running before is really good where it sends out a wave. This is just good for movement speed, so it's good for running through it, but at the end it's not. Helmet's really good because um, it gives you that damage boost and then the armor break. It's really nice. But yeah, the blessings are really nice. The mount bank as well as the star was decent, but the shell boss is, is really nice. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much some tips on how to get through that. We only died one time, 18 and a half minutes. Now I have done mine already, as you can see. I've done them all. So you want to do it within, like I said, you got 30 minutes. They made it really easy. Complete level total in 30 minutes, only using only one resurrection. So you can die one time. All right, so that's my guide for the fractured plane. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry it took yesterday off. It was kind of like a little break for me. Um, had a lot of work stuff going on and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until the next one, uh, see you tomorrow.